All right, so we'll start on our seat today. And um, if you have a cushion to sit up on or you have something um, like a folded blanket or something to sit on, go ahead and set up on something a bit higher. Let's see how it goes with the cat here. Okay. And um, so today I'm gonna give, as I usually do, lots of options to move. Um, to breathe and um, just giving yourself whatever it is that you need. So starting in a tall seat, if it's okay to close your eyes, close your eyes or you can look down, soften your gaze downwards slightly here. And wherever it's comfortable to have your hands, whether it's on your lap, you could place a hand over your heart if you like or both hands over your heart. And we'll start to connect into our breath for the first few minutes here. I'm creating a bit of space for your breath. You might want to roll your shoulders back and down a few times or wiggle one shoulder back and then the other and create a little bit of space across the front of your chest, your heart space. And then as you um, Begin to breathe in, see if you can lift up through the center of your chest, the center or the top of your head. And then as you breathe out, let your shoulders begin to relax and feel the connection to the ground here. So the, the connection with your sit bones and your legs. And then after a couple breaths, you may want to begin to count as you breathe. So breathing in to three or four or five as you count, just depending on the capacity of your breath without forcing your breath. You could always lengthen as you continue to breathe. And then your exhale will be the same length or maybe a little bit longer to see how that feels today. And then any tension in your forehead, your jaw, your face, or anywhere else in your body you're holding some tension, each time you breathe out, begin to relax or soften those particular areas. And you may want to explore a little engagement through the center of your body, a little engagement through your core, the very bottom of your breath out, draw your navel, your belly button in. And then as you breathe in, relax your belly completely. And then to bring just a little bit more awareness into the present moment or into your body, you could create a little bit of a sound as you're breathing. So that could be on your breath out, a bit of a sigh or opening your mouth and almost like blowing out a candle. Not that we'll probably be doing that ever again on birthday cakes, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, or you can continue to breathe in and out through your nose and uh, create a little bit of a constriction in your throat so it sounds like a sigh as you breathe in and breathe out. Or it could sound like, um, you know, not quite a snore, but somebody that is a quite a um, a deep breather when they're sleeping. There's that slight audible sound. And as we're moving this morning, I'll continue to cue you to come back to your breathing. Notice your breath and notice what's happening in your body as you're breathing. You 
there's a particular intention or energy that you'd like to draw towards you or put out there for this practice today, take a moment to connect with that intention. And when you're ready, let's, um, wherever your hands are, bring your hands down beside you and begin to open up your eyes. And let's create a little bit more movement with our shoulders here. So you can breathe in to lift your shoulders up, breathe out to bring your shoulders down or move in whatever way feels good here. So you might want to, might want to move one shoulder at a time again, or even move, <clears throat> excuse me, your shoulders forward a few times. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. And then I'm just going to turn to the side here. To the side. Let's bring our fingertips behind us here. And you, whatever way you want to point your fingertips, let's try to bring our shoulders back and then down and lift through our heart a little bit here and perhaps take some gentle breaths medium breaths however it feels into your heart space here and then when you're ready let's extend our legs forward let's flatten our palms behind us placing your feet down on the floor you can bring your feet a little wider and let's move our knees from one side to the other a few times here. And release out <clears throat> through our legs. You can extend your legs forward if you like. Move your feet a little bit. And then um, let's come back to seated. So we're going to create a little bit of movement on our seat here, and that could be moving back, rounding back, chin towards your chest, and then leaning forward, shoulders back, and then you could move with your breath here. So you could move and exhale to move back, inhale to lift forward. You could also move from one side to the other um, or create more of a circular movement. So just see how you feel here. I know it's a lot of options, but option to move from the left to the right or moving back and then forward or creating more of a circular movement, but more fluid here. And if you're circling, you could also circle in the opposite direction. You can just change up your movement at any point here. So just gonna um, remind you as we're moving, as I give lots of options, just take the ones that are working for you, leave the rest. And if something's not working, just backing up and pausing. So coming back to a place of neutral that could be sitting or child's pose. All right. Let's extend our legs forward one more time. Let's move a little bit here. And then let's come off of our seat and move any of your props off to the side. And we're going to begin in tabletop here. <clears throat> so we're going to continue that movement we were just making. So a lifting through your heart, lifting through your sit bones. There's a little arch maybe into your lower back here and then a rounding towards the ceiling, chin towards your chest and a little bit of movement you could add in side to side here as well. So I'm gonna just offer that this is a little bit more um, personal, a little bit more uh, your practice so it could be a lot more fluid movement some circular movement or you could continue just to arch and round arch and round move side to side so similar to what we just did in our seat but we're just now on tabletop all 
And we'll take maybe three or four more breaths here, wherever it is that you are. And then we're going to come back into child's pose. So parting your knees a little bit wider than your hips. And you could support your forehead with your hands or bring your forehead right down to the floor. So this is an opportunity to slow down, to take a moment to pause and remembering at any point you need to come back here, just take a moment to settle. Couple big breaths into the back of your body. Just another breath or two here. Okay. So let's come back up to tabletop. We're going to play with a little bit of balance here. And I know balance is, it can be challenging. So we will work in stages here. So let's start in tabletop with our left toes tucked back behind us on the floor. Okay. So you can always stay here. You can always come back to here as well. I'm going to take my right foot, you can see my right foot moving a little bit here, and I'm going to turn it back behind me, and I'm going to open up my hip. So option one is to keep your left foot on the floor and bring your left hand to your left hip. Okay, so this is both feet are on the floor, one hand, one hand on your hip. Okay, that's option one. Option two, lift your left leg all the way up in line with your hip. You can keep your left hand down or you can bring your left hand to your left hip for a little bit of balance, a little bit more balance. You can also extend your left hand up towards the ceiling and at any point you can either bring your foot or your hand or both back down. Now, if anyone's feeling super sassy today and balanced, you could reach back and grab the top of your left foot with your left hand for a thigh stretch. If you're falling all over the place right now, probably best to come back to something a little bit more stable for you. Here, here, or hand down. Good. Okay, let's come out of that side. Let's take a clearing breath. Maybe a breath or two. Or you can move through cat and cow a couple times. Or you can even come off your wrist. So if you find that's really hard on your wrist, just sit back on your heels. Shake out your arms and your hands a little bit before we come to the other side. Okay, so one side can feel more balanced than the other. And so let's just explore this side, remembering you have lots of options. So option one, we're extending our right foot back. This time you can uh, turn your left toes out behind you and you can keep your foot down hand on your hip, okay, or reaching up, or you can lift your right leg up completely, okay? And remember, you can always bring a foot down and hand back down. For those of you that took the thigh stretch, you're welcome to explore that here as well. And as you're ready, coming back down, child's pose or sitting back on your heels. Let's just take a couple breaths, shake out or circle out your wrists a few times here. A couple full breaths in and out. All right. Not so bad. Hopefully everyone's uh, still um, here with us now. We're going to create a little bit of um, more balance, one more balance from tabletop and a little bit of dynamic movement as an option. Okay, so I'm going to show you all the options first and you can just start to move into that. So option one will be to lift your right leg up, both hands planted. You can always touch your toes down. And then option two will be to extend your opposite arm forward. 
Now we will create some dynamic movement as an option. So knee to chest, forehead to knee. So that could be with both hands down or opposite arm also moving, which creates a whole lot of coordination and a whole lot of balance. So choose, and you can always bring your hands back down. You could always bring both feet back down. So move about five or six times. If you're moving already, move a few more times. And then we'll come back to the center here. And then when you're ready, both hands come down, both knees come back down. Let's take a clearing breath together. Maybe one more breath. And then let's try the other side. So remembering you can stay here. You can stay, you don't have to move. You can pause, you can hang out, leg lifted, or both hands planted knee to chest, forehead to knee and extend back. Or adding in the arm variation, which creates again, a lot of balance a lot of coordination and some core strength. And you can take a pause whenever you're ready. You could maybe move a couple more times if you're still moving. And then this time after the next couple breaths, we will move back into child's pose to take a pause. Now in child's pose, if you'd like to um, extend your left arm forward and weave your right arm through, come down onto the right side of your head as an option, coming into a little bit of a twist here, you can, or keeping both arms forward. And if you took that little bit of a twist, let's come back to the center, extend our right arm and weave our left arm through, come down onto your left side. And coming back to the center. Now I'm going to give a couple of options. We're going to make our way into a standing forward fold. Okay, option one is to tuck your toes and roll up onto your feet. Option two will be to spend about three or four breaths first in downward facing dog. So anyone wanting to um, come into downward dog, please come into downward dog. And if you're not feeling down dog today, coming straight into your standing forward fold. Couple more big breaths. And if you're in down dog, slowly walking your feet forward or your hands back, and you can grab opposite elbows or you can rest your elbows above your knees with your knees bent, such if your lower back is kind of um, really tight right now. If not, let your arms hang. Release your chin towards your chest, perhaps, and let some of the weight of your head release as well. A couple more breaths. Now we'll explore a little bit of movement here as well. So hands to your shins. Straighten your arms, lift your body halfway up, and then exhale to fold in. And you can skip this part and stay folded or inhale to lift up about halfway, and then exhale to fold in. And then one more time. And folding in. And we're gonna press down through our feet and come all the way up to standing. And give yourself a little bit of movement here. So um, circle your shoulders back, swing your arms, shake out your legs, move your legs and feet. <sighs> okay, so we're going to come into mountain pose. If you are on a mat, 
come forward towards the front. If you're on the floor, just make sure, or without a mat, just make sure you have some space in behind you. And let's bring our hands to our hips here. And let's take a step back with our left foot first. And making sure that your left heel's planted so you can always shorten your stance a little bit. And we're gonna take a little bend into our front knee and we're gonna turn ourselves forward to face our front leg. Now, a couple options here. You could reach your arms up overhead and this will be our inhale. Now you could stay here. So I'm gonna offer um, sort of with each of the standing poses, I'm gonna offer um, a static or stationary move, uh, posture. And then I'm gonna also offer more dynamic movement. So option to stay here, arms up overhead, pausing here. And the next option will be to exhale to bring your arms forward, keep your heart lifted and reach your arms back kind of like you're flying through the air. And then inhale, lift your upper body, lift your arms. And then exhale, arms reach forward and back, heart stays lifted. Inhale to lift up. And we'll do that two more times. And one more time. Now, we're gonna try a little bit of a balance here. So hands to your heart or hands to your hips, lift your back heel. We're gonna to try to lift our left leg and lift our left knee up. If you don't get it, it's okay. And then come to bring your foot back down. And let's shake that out a little bit. And a clearing breath. And then we'll come back, both feet planted. Okay, so this time we're going to step our right foot back. So warrior one leg, so a little bend into your front knee, back heels planted, and we're facing towards our front foot, arms reaching up overhead. Remember, you can pause here and stay here. And if you're moving, your exhale will reach your fingertips forward and then back, your heart stays lifted, and then inhale, lift your upper body, lift your arms. And then exhale and inhale and exhale and lifting your upper body, lifting your arms two more times. And one more time. And as you come back, hands to your heart or hands to your hips, lift your back heel, lean forward, push off your back foot, try to bring your knee up towards your chest and then bring your foot down and shake it out a little bit. I know that one was hard. Okay, so we're gonna turn to face, um, if you're on a mat, we're gonna turn to face the long edge of our mat. So, or just turning your body so you have space to um, take a wide stride with your feet. Okay. Now, we're going to turn our left foot so that it's pointing towards the small side of our mat. And then we're going to take a bend in. So we're going to come into warrior two legs here. Now, if your front knee pops forward of your ankle like this, take a little bit of a longer stride so your knees over your ankle and then upper body's in the center. And we're gonna bring our back hand to our back leg, front palm faces up, and we're gonna reach up here, shoulders roll back, and maybe tip back a little bit. You could straighten out your front leg here as well. Remember when we drew our belly button in, draw your belly button in, lift up and back here with straight legs. Here comes the cat. Hi, buddy. Decided to join us finally. Hmm? Hey. And then coming back to the center, let's bend back into our front knee and let's bring our front elbow down, resting it on our front leg, back hand to your back hip, reaching up and maybe over. Shoulders back. Back. 
And then we're going to come back up to stand. We can straighten out our front leg. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. And then let's bend back into our front knee. Back hand to your back leg, front palm faces up and we're gonna reach up and back, straighten out our front leg. And then we're gonna bend back into our front knee, bring our front elbow to our front leg and reach our arm, our back hand up. So we're moving quick and then we're gonna to come to back to stand. Okay, we're gonna add in one more movement. This one with our hands to our hips, triangle pose. We're gonna hinge forward, okay? So you can have your hand resting on your upper leg. You can bring your hand down to your shin and your back hand can stay in your hip or reach up here, so your choice. And then we're gonna stand back up, take a full breath in and a full breath out. Okay, so we're gonna try to link all of these movements together. So if you get lost, don't worry about it. Just, you know, find your way um, and it's all good. So we'll start with a bend in our front knee. I'll try to go slow. Back hand to your back leg, front palm turns up and we're gonna reach our front hand up and maybe back a little bit. And then straighten out your front leg, belly button draws in, lifting your arms straight up and then bend back into your front knee. Let's bring our front elbow to our front leg, back hand to your back hip and or back hand reaches up. So from here, we're gonna transition into triangle pose, back hand to your hip, straighten out your front leg, bring your um, hand to your shin or your upper leg, your back hand can reach up. Awesome, okay, let's come all the way back up to stand. Turn both feet in, you guys did awesome. Let's take a full breath in and a full breath out. And then let's turn our other foot um, to the small edge and bend into it. So I left leg we started with, right leg, whatever leg is next, don't worry about it. Okay, so we're gonna do all of that on the other side. Back hand to your back leg, front palm turns up and we're gonna reach up and maybe reach back a bit here. I'm just gonna take a couple breaths here and you could straighten out your front leg as we're here, belly button draws in, lifting up, maybe back a little bit. And then let's bring our arm down and let's bend back into our front knee. Our front elbow, rests onto our front leg and shoulder back. You can reach up with your back hand or keep it on your hip. And then we're gonna come all the way back up to stand. Okay, so we're gonna link those two together first. So starting with bend in our front knee, back hand to our back leg, front palm faces up, reaching up and back, and then straightening out your front leg little lift here and then a bend into your front knee, front elbow comes down, back hand to your hip or reaching up or over. And then coming back up, straightening out your leg. This is where we're gonna try triangle pose on this side. We're gonna lean forward, your front hand can come to the top of your leg or the bottom of your leg your back hand can stay on your hip or reach up. I know I'm throwing all these things in for coordination today. Let's come back up to stand. Okay, I'm gonna link all of these together. So let's start with the bend in our front knee, back hand to our back leg, front palm reaches up and back. And then we're gonna straighten our front leg, navel draws in, lift up, and then bend into our front knee, front elbow to our front leg, back hand to your hip, reaching up perhaps. And then from here, we're gonna move into triangle, straightening out our front leg and take a breath or two. And let's come all the way up to stand. Good job. And then both feet to the long edge of our mat, taking a breath in and a breath out. 
And then let's bring our heels in, our feet in just a little bit. And then we're gonna turn our heels in and we're gonna bring our knees over our ankles in a squat-like movement. So goddess pose. Hi, buddy. Oh, yeah, I got ya. Hi. I know you don't like being picked up. You're not a cuddly guy. Okay, so goddess legs, you can come into goddess arms as well. Navel draws in, tailbone draws down just a little bit to lengthen our lower back. Now, if you want a little bit of a movement here, tip to one side, back to the center, tip to the other side, back to the center. The cat is behind the computer now, tip to the other side, back to the center, and tip to the other side. I feel like we're in like, um, Okay, let's straighten our legs first. <laughs> Walk our legs in, shake it out. Hey, away from the camera. Come on. I don't need you doing that. Come on. Yeah, come on down. You're going to block everybody. Okay. <laughs> what a brat. We're going to come into um, a bit more balance today. So, I'm just going to grab a sip of water. So, Coming to a wall or a stable piece of furniture is always helpful, especially if balance is not your uh, strongest movement. Mm. We're going to play around a little bit. So we're going to start in tree pose just as a <clears throat> bit of muscle memory for our legs. So start with your left leg um, on or left foot on the floor, right toes turn out. And we start by resting our heel on our ankle and just start to feel this movement from about your hip joint all the way down. And then we're going to lift. You can sort of see my body start to move from slumping and my core engages here, lifting up. So we'll start there and then you can always place your foot below or above your leg or above your knee. Sorry, oh, my pants are way too slippery for that. So below my knee or toes tap down. You can be also holding onto a wall or anything else. Any arm variations here, you can come back into goddess arms or arms overhead, hands at your heart, heart, <clears throat> heart or hips. And then as you're ready, we will come back to center, both feet down, make a bit of movement and then the other side. So noticing this, this standing leg here. So we really wanna feel this um, anchoring down through the leg. So when we move into our next balance, we're still feeling this rooting. And then as you root, there's a core engagement and a lengthening up here through your side. come back down shake it out a little bit and you may have noticed that one side feels a little bit easier than the other or not it could be um, both feel similar just check checking that out okay see how adventurous we're feeling here huh I'm just gonna throw in um, I'm gonna throw in a balance where um, we're going to move a little bit closer to the floor as well so I'm going to give a couple of options. For those of you that have yoga blocks, you could use them here in case you want to bring your hands down. I'm not going to show that part, but you can always do that. I'm going to show you from the side first, okay? And we're going to move into warrior three. Now, the nice thing about this movement is when we start from standing, so I'm standing on my left foot, I'll just show you first. Core engages, I'm going to lean in and then lift my back leg. Now, warrior three could be just here, okay? So just enough lift through your leg. And then as your leg lifts, your upper body lowers. So you don't wanna be uh, here with your leg and then here with your upper body, okay? So you wanna try to find that long line. It's kind of like a teeter-totter, right? It's moving at the same time, okay? 
So when you're ready, your warrior three might be just a little bit of movement or eventually you may move a little bit more. Now, if you need some more stability and you have blocks, you can bring your hands down to blocks as well, as long as your back leg is lifting up. And then whenever you're feeling ready and done, you're gonna bring both feet back to the center. <clears throat> it does require a lot of energy to move into a pose like this. So just taking a break and then maybe trying it again. So if you find you're falling, you can even hold on to something like the wall beside you. All right. Okay, second side could feel completely different. It might be easier, it might be a bit more challenging. And we're trying to keep our hips square. So you may have noticed that <clears throat> your hip on the lifted leg wants to open so that you can lower a bit more. <laughs> Try to keep your hip pointing down and lift from your inner thigh. A little bit more challenging there too. And just whenever you're feeling ready, we'll come back to stand. And we're gonna shake that out. Clearing breath. And I'm just gonna check the time. Okay, let's come to a wide stride one more time. We're gonna take a wide forward fold this time. And I'm gonna offer a little bit of movement or a little bit of stillness. So feet wide, hands to your hips. We're gonna fold in and bring your hands down. You can always adjust your stride here. Now, if your hands reach the floor, you could straighten your arms and lean, um, bend into one knee and lean to that side and bend to the other and stretch out your ankles and your lower legs. I find that helps. If you wanna get into your feet and ankles a bit, lift one heel and then the other heel. And if you don't want to move at all, you're just going to bend your elbows and fold in a little bit more here. Now to come out of this um, form, we're actually going to move towards a lunge. So look towards um, your right foot and let's walk our hands around towards our right foot. Your left heel lifts and you're going to bring your left heel down to the ground. If none of that made sense, don't worry, just coming lower to the floor. And then we're going to step our right foot forward. Okay. Turn our toes out and our back knee moves back. And this pose we're gonna move into is lizard or dragon pose. So your hands can be on the inside of your front foot. So my front foot's here, my knee's over my ankle, my back foot's moving back. And here might be just where you stay. Or some of you may have yoga blocks. You can even come up a bit higher or you could lower, okay? Hey, you looking for a blanket to lay on, huh? So this pose, as we're staying in it, use that inhale and then, or exhale to clear some energy. Come on over here, let's bring this blanket over here for you. Come on, my cat is so spoiled. Come on, you go onto that blanket. Here you go. Yeah, I got you a blanket. Oh, dokey. You're so spoiled. Here you go, buddy. He needs to be on comfy blankets, but don't we all like comfy blankets, right? When my cat is laying on my bed, he'll lay on the one, um, you know, if there's like a shirt or a pair of pants or something, he will lay on the piece of clothing that is on the bed. So weird. Anyways, 
So if you want to move a little bit here, move a little bit, I'm going to offer up a twist in this um, variation. So if you're on your forearms, you'll want to bring your left hand down um, to the floor, your right hand to your right leg and turn towards your front leg. Give that little bit of a twist. Exciting. And then we're going to straighten out our front leg. Ah, 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 ah. If your legs feel like mine, that's what exactly what it felt like. And we're going to move our foot in a little bit. Now, not everyone has yoga blocks. If you have yoga blocks, you can bring your hands to them. If not, bring your hands to the floor and then lift the bottom of your front foot. And option here to flex your toes back or relax your foot. Or you can explore a little bit. See how that feels. Or move your hips a little bit to see how that feels like squaring your hips bringing your, the front of your left hip forward a little bit. And then when you're ready, let's bring that leg back. Now, if you want to walk it out in downward dog or make some hip movements or leg movements, or you can sit in child's pose, there's a few different things. So just Trust in your body's wisdom, what it needs right now. Maybe a bit of movement, but maybe a bit of stillness here. Okay, let's come to the other side. Lizard pose. So stepping your left foot forward. So we're in that lunge and we're going to stay in the center. And I just want to remind you that you can always come out sooner. So for whatever reason, this is just not feeling okay. Hands on the inside of your front foot means your front foot comes a bit wider to the side. Blocks or no blocks, find your variation and use your clearing breath to release any tension here. So these poses as we begin to slow down can be, um, especially without the movement, you know, can feel like your mind is going, oh, or even getting into your hips, it just can stir up some stuff. Your breath is good to just clear it out, let it flow, let it move. Now, if you wanted to take that little bit of a twist, placing your um, right hand on the floor, left hand to your left leg, turning towards your um, front leg here. And then when you're ready, let's move our hips back, straight down our front leg, bring your front foot into the center a little bit here. Blocks or no blocks, you can lift the bottom of your foot, flex your toes a little bit here, connect to your breath, or you can let your foot relax, and then your the front of your right hip can even draw forward a bit here. And then as you're ready, let's bring that leg back. Any movement, child's pose, anything else you'd like to do. Um, and then we're going to make our way onto our seat. So give yourself maybe three or four breaths, though. No rush here. <clears throat> Or boat pose. Now, if you have a folded blanket because your tailbone or your lower back is a little bit sensitive, you can always sit on a blanket. I find the, the soft foam block is a little bit too cushy, a little bit too much height. So 
preferably like a folded towel or blanket, or you could crimp your mat back a little bit, like fold it over and sit on the fold. And then we're going to start in a couple of ways. Remember we started with our hands back behind us and shoulders back. So let's start here. Navel draws in and then lifting from your upper leg, we're gonna lift one foot and then the other foot. So your knee lifts up towards your body here. So a little bit of core stability and then you could try both legs and hover your feet and bring them back down. So this movement is coming from your upper legs and your core. So draw your navel in and start to lift your legs up and then back down. And then let's give our legs a little shake out, a couple clearing breaths. You can actually bring your feet to the ground and windshield wiper, move your knees side to side a few times. It's always fun. And then we're going to move from here into boat pose. So notice, remember what that feeling felt like lifting your legs. You can keep your hands behind you or bring your hands behind your knees and lift your upper body shoulders back. And then if your knees are going wide, hug your inner thighs in, maybe lift your feet a little higher. Now you can stay here or you can ah, let your arms go. If you start to collapse, grab the backs of your knees again here. And then from here, bring your feet down. I'm gonna extend my legs forward first, shake it out. You can also bring your feet down, move your knees from side to side a few times and a big clearing breath. Okay, fun, right? Now, this one's like a rowing of the boat. So you could row and extend, you know, like you're actually rowing, or you can have your feet on the ground and row here. So either way, feeling core stability, lower belly draws in here or here. Oh. <laughs> Okay, when you're ready, let's extend our legs out again. Shake it out. Oh boy, Tammy, I'm sure your daughter could do that forever. I feel like I could do about two before I was gonna collapse. <laughs> oh, let's lay down, everyone. Let's come to line our backs. And let's give our knees a hug towards our chest. And let's rock a little bit here or make some circles. Give our lower back a little bit of massage after that boat, those couple boat poses. And then let's bring our feet down to the ground. Feet a little wider and move your knees from one side to the other in like a windshield wipering um, movement. And we're gonna stretch out our hips a little bit here. Um, we did a lot of standing and we did a lot of balancing and some core stability here today. So let's start with our right foot on top of our left leg. And um, you could stay here or you could bring your other leg in towards your chest. So your left knee towards your chest. And relax your shoulders, connecting into your breath. Now, at the beginning of class, I had you either closing your eyes or softening your gaze down. This would be a time where you could try that again and come back to the counting breath. So slowing your breath down, bringing some more awareness to your breathing, that subtle movement. So even though our bodies are not in a dynamic movement, our breath is still moving in that same way. And then when you're ready, we'll release that side. Give yourself any little bit of movement in between and then we will switch to the other side.
A couple more breaths here, coming back to your breathing. And then when you're ready, we're going to release that side. Maybe extending your legs forward, reaching your arms overhead and giving yourself a big, huge body stretch. And then when you're ready, bringing both knees in towards your chest. And this time we're gonna move our knees wide to the side. So drawing your knees a little bit wider. Option one is to pause here, hugging your knees in towards your chest. And then option two is to reach through and grab your feet and then perhaps stack your ankles over your knees for happy baby pose. So you could draw your knees down. You can move side to side a little bit here, connecting into your breath, wherever it is that you are. And then as you're ready, let's release that, bringing both feet back down. You could give yourself a full body stretch here again. Maybe moving your feet a few times side to side this time, shake it out a little bit. You could also bring your feet to the floor and move your knees from side to side again. Okay, so we're going to move into a twist and then we're going to have a couple minutes for Shavasana before we end off here. So let's move our hips to the left side, move our knees up towards our chest and then, and then settle them on the floor to the right. Now you can keep your upper body closer and your arms closer to your upper body um, for this twist, just to get your legs and feet settled on the floor. And then if it feels okay to open up, you can open up. And if it doesn't, just keeping your arms a little closer to your upper body here. Let's take three full big breaths. Clear it out through your mouth. And when you're ready, we'll return back to the center. You can move your hips over to the right side, lift up your knees, lower your knees to the left. And again, you can keep your upper body closer to the left or open up your arms. See how that feels here for you. And as you're ready, let's return to the center. So one more movement in the center. You could come back with your knees to your chest. You could bring your feet together with your knees wide. If you're, um, if you have a, a sweater or a blanket or you started out with something a little warmer, um, perhaps take a moment just to get yourself warm again, because we will be coming into Shavasana, into our, our relaxation portion which will stay here for a few minutes. So you will cool off quickly. And then once you're ready with something warmer, you can lie on your back or your side, wherever it's comfortable. And give yourself a couple clearing breaths, closing your eyes. Softening your gaze, either on your back, you can roll over to one side if that's more comfortable. Give yourself a big breath in, full breath out here. And give yourself this time to just be, be nice and quiet and peaceful just for a couple minutes.
Slowly begin to deepen your breath. Just really taking your time to create some gentle movement with your body. Could be your ankles, your wrists. And then make a bit of bigger movement. As you're ready, maybe stretching your arms overhead or bringing your knees up and towards your chest if you're still on your back. And then if you are on your back, take your time, roll over to one side for just a couple breaths and then taking your time to come up to your seat. And once you're on your seat, <clears throat> you can bring both hands over your heart, you bring your palms together at heart center, whatever feels best for you. And take a moment to connect back into your breath. A little bit of a lift through your heart, lift through the top of your head. You could come back to your intention for a moment. Notice how you feel in your body. Notice how you feel in your energy. How does it feel different perhaps than it did when you first began? And then take a couple deep breaths of gratitude for showing up today, for being here, taking the time for you. And I definitely wanna thank you all for being here this morning. Thank you so much. Uh, I wish you a peaceful day. Namaste, everyone. Thank you. I'm just going to end the recording, and then if you want to unmute, I can unmute. Let's see.